create your perfect guy? Easy. He'd have Brad Pitt's hair from Legends of the Fall, Antonio Banderas' eyes from Desperado, and Mel Gibson's good cheek from Man Without a Face. <laughs> and, uh, where are you gonna find a guy like that? Hey, babe. This mall has everything. I guess love is blind. That's it. I'm never going to another country club function again. Okay, Chris, what did you do this time? Nothing. Christopher Atwater, I can't believe you just called Judge Spivak's wife bitchin'. She was a babe when she graduated from Deering last year, and she still is. I can't take you anywhere. You wore tennis shoes to a formal event. You used a salad fork for the crab cocktail, and you licked the ice sculpture. I was on a roll, wasn't I? Mother is right. You are so wash and wear. And you're a stuck-up snob. It's way too late for compliments. Get a clue, Mary Beth. Oh, you are so out of my life. You licked the ice sculpture? Hey, I was trying to lighten things up. Those people are a bunch of stiffs. What's going on with you two? Well, I really want to be with Mary Beth. I just don't want to be with her where she wants me to be. So it's a location problem. Have you tried meeting her halfway? I, I met her more than halfway. I wore the tux. And your formal basketball shoes. <laughs> Don't you think you should go after her and say you're sorry? Hey, I, I can apologize, but I can't change who I am. I hear you, Chris. Those country club people can really make you feel like you don't belong. Yeah. But they sure know how to eat. Go. All right, that's nice ball movement. Let's take a water break. Guys, if I'm going to order the Tyson fight, I need your money today. Chris, where's your five bucks? I don't know if I want to pay five bucks to see Tyson knock this dude out in 30 seconds. I mean, that would be a lot of money per second. <laughs> Come on, Chris, it's just a chance for all of us to get together. It's a guy's night. It would have been nice if someone had asked this guy. Sorry, Julie, you're invited. Can you cook us, like, some lasagna or something? <laughs> One, I don't cook. Two, I hate boxing. And three, the next time you come down the lane for a layup, I got your lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Whoa. Coach, how'd you like to come to my place and watch the Tyson Dickler fight? Only ten bucks. Huh. No, thank you. I'm gonna watch the fight at home on my big screen. Big screen? Hey, I've got an idea, Coach. Why don't we all come over and watch it with you? How about I just give you the $10 and you don't? <laughs> come on, Coach. It'll be a guy's night. Yeah, we've never been to your place. We don't even know where you live. There's a reason for that. <laughs> come on, Coach. Let us come over, please. Yeah, Coach, I got so much money. Money. Oh, oh, like all right, all right. You wind me into it. <laughs> Get a life, coach. I just bought $500 worth of underwear. <laughs> They're wrong. Spending doesn't help. <sighs> Let me guess. You and Chris are still fighting. He started it. He never wants to go to the club. And when I finally drag in there, he acts like I forced him to go. <laughs> Mary Beth, Chris is just a regular guy. If you try to change him into something he's not, you're both gonna be unhappy. Don't you see? You're an enabler, he's codependent. Okay, now watch out, buddy. <laughs> I don't wanna change Chris, I just want him to be more like daddy. Ah, uh, the classic father complex. Ricky Lake. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're asking too much of Chris. Is it asking too much for him to dress better? I can't tell you how many Italian sweaters I've given him. Just once, I'd like to see him tie one around his neck. Like that. Excuse me. How can I help you? You don't work here, Mary Beth. I can still help him. <laughs> Believe me. I need to get this squash racket restrung. Oh, we don't do that. Oh, we do now. I know you, don't I? Uh, aren't you a Pepperton? Yes, I am. Mary Beth Pepperton. It's me, Charles. Charles Van Landingham. 
Chubby Chuck? Chubby Chuck? Where do you suppose he's chubby? Oh. Charles, you look great. You lost your braces, those Coke bottle glasses, about three quarters of your nose. <laughs> Dr. Stevens? He's the best. You look pretty good yourself, Mary Beth. Of course, you always did. Uh, who are your friends? Nobody. <laughs> so, uh, what have you been doing, Charles? Well, I've been away at boarding school. I've been at Scroton for the last four years. You got into Scroton? Yeah, with honors. Hey, Mary Beth, I'm about to meet my parents at the country club for dinner. Why don't you join us? You know, for old times' sake? I couldn't possibly. I, I have plans. I have homework. I have nothing. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, Mary Beth. About the country club the other night? I don't know what gets into me. Here, I bought you an I'm sorry present. I bought you one too. I love it when we make up. Oh, thank you. A tennis racket? No, silly, it's a squash racket. I bought you a sports present. Yeah, but, but I don't play squash. I don't even eat squash. <laughs> well, you'll learn. We'll sign you up for lessons at the club. Oh, boy. <laughs> Open yours. Oh. Cleaning products. Better. She's in a can. Barbecue, onion, regular, and pine scented. At the club the other night, I noticed you were really loading up at the cheese bar. Why cheese in a can? Well, this way you don't have to slice it and put it on a cracker. Just give it a couple good shakes and. Mm. As someone a lot smarter than us once said, it's the thought that counts. And the important thing is, is we're trying to get along, right? Right. So where were you last night? Me? Nowhere, absolutely nowhere. Why? I called and your mom said you were out shopping, but it was way after the mall closed. Oh, right. You'll never believe who I ran into. Charles Van Landingham. Chubby Chuck? What does he weigh in at now, about 250? <laughs> Oh, 250, 240, 175, buff. <laughs> well, gotta go. Can I walk you to class? Sure. Poor chubby Chuck. You think a guy like that will ever find a girlfriend? Absolutely not. Okay, everybody's bringing snacks over to Fuller's place tomorrow night for the fight, right? You right. bet. I'm gonna get Mama to fry up a mess of pig's feet. Uh, Hatfield. Just bring root beer. <laughs> so, Melon, what are you bringing? Maybe some of your world-famous guacamole? Um, I'm not so sure I'm going, guys. Uh, why not? Can't you just get someone to tape Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman? <laughs> no, I stopped watching that last season. Well, then what's the problem, Danny? It's Saturday night. Samantha and I always go out on Saturday nights. It's our tradition. Tradition? What, are you married now? <laughs> Let's see, hanging out with you guys watching a fight, or lip lock with Sam in the back of a movie. Well, there's a tough choice. So what you're saying is, you'd rather be with Sam instead of us guys, your buds, your teammates. No, I didn't say that. Oh, I think you did. <laughs> I think it's cute the way everyone assumes we want to be alone. Sam, I need to tell you something about tomorrow night. Sure. But first... I missed you. But you just saw me in English class. It was two periods ago. So, what do you want to talk to me about? Sam? Yeah? Well, there's been a change of hair. <laughs> I, I mean, plans. 